Hey, I'm Lauren, owner of Imagined Awakenings, and I'm ready to get creative with some resin. Always remember safety first, wear your safety equipment, and always work in a well-ventilated area when working with epoxy resin. So first up, I'm going to work on a pour art piece. And I've already mixed up my resin and pre-mixed the colorants, which I believe I used mica powders for all of these. I should really do the videos closer to <laughs> when I make the pieces. <clears throat> anyway, so yeah, I'm pretty sure I use mica powders for all the colorants. Um, hence why they kind of have that shimmery, um, opaque look. Um, so I was feeling the blues and the bluish greens. I guess I wanted an aquatic feel. And then I just did the blacks and grays for some contrast because you got to love contrast. And I just decided for whatever reason that I wanted to go diagonally across and just kind of repeat the order. So I started with gray and then just went through the colors and then started back with gray repeat until I got to the other edge. And then um, I just kind of picked it up and moved it around until all of the canvas was covered with resin. Fun. Here, all I'm doing is knocking my cups over um, and also just trying to fill in all the spots that I see that don't have resin, um, like the sides and the corners, just trying to make sure that they're covered as much as possible. I make a bit of a mess when I make pour art so I usually try to come behind and um, tidy it up a little bit you know when I can um, also I'm going through and working on getting my colorants together for the next piece um, I did work on some coasters and I did some glitter so I took out some glitter and mixed it with resin apparently off camera even though the camera is running I promise to be more conscious of these things so um i always have a lot of resin left over when i do pour art so i just kind of was working on mixing up the glitter that i wanted to go with the leftover resin um that i decided i was going to use so in this piece in the top corner to the left that's not fully on the camera i just kind of left it here so you could get an idea of how i pour the resin in those geo molds and i'm um, usually what i just take the the molds are actually all separate and you squish them together and then you pour as if it's all one mold so i just pour around in a circle which you've seen some of the small circles that i did um with several colors and layers just to just to give it a layered contrast look um and then i decided that my pour art <laughs> moved a bit too much for my liking um i may have stated before that the table at some point i realized was not level and so it causes the resin to like start shifting and moving while it's just sitting there um which in this case turned out to be a benefit because it gave the picture a really cool effect So in this mold, I just um, call them little displays. It's like a rectangle. I have a circle. I feel like I have another shape that I'm blanking on right now. So um, anyway, in this one, I just put like a thin layer of resin and, and then made a mess that I cleaned up. <laughs> um, but I put a thin layer of resin on the bottom. And then I decided I was going to do um, some flowers. That, they look like sunflowers, but they're small. Anyway, the sunflowers turned out to be kind of too big. For the mold and they were kind of sticking out so I took them out but kind of left some of the 
petals in there and then I decided to go with I think lavender buds um, because they were much smaller and thinner so I sprinkled some of those in there uh, just to give it some extra depth this is the first time I'd ever used any kind of flower or flower type additive um, but it's super popular so I wanted to give it a try but of course I couldn't just leave the resin clear because like that is not like me at all <laughs> um, so after I put the flowers in, I put some more resin on top I don't know if that really helped my cause or anything they were really thin uh, pieces of flower to begin with so they weren't really moving much and then I decided that um, to add some real wow factor that I would use alcohol ink to color behind the flowers. Woohoo, look at me go. Terrible me, I did not do any of the demolding on film. But this is the final look of the pour art, which I absolutely adored. It did not last very long on the site. This is the um, decor piece with the flowers. I really, it's like an explosion of color. Loved it. Um, I actually hated this one. It didn't make it to the site. My un my unlevel table um, just kind of ruined it. But there you have it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.